what if a founder's external round has failed and the internal investors are not being as supportive as they thought they, wo they would? Um, isn't it just reasonable to expect that the internal investors will support the company? No, and it, but it depends. And you know, we spoke about this in the episode with Ashish. So first of all, let me set context. I've been a founder. Um, I've been in that situation. So I really empathize. And I think it is one of the hardest, most delicate, most awkward, most tense, most difficult conversations and relationships between a VC and a, and a founder. But I think, look, I've been on both sides. And I will tell you that the reality is a VC has a responsibility and a fiduciary responsibility to their investors. By definition, forget whether the VC wanted to or not. Let's take a different situation. Let's say that I am that guy. I love a founder. Business plan is not being met. Nothing. I want to keep putting in money. Do, am I doing the right thing by my investors? Probably not. I don't know. Now, firms have checks and balances internally to avoid this kind of a conflict. Because, by the way, I may have a different conflict in my mind. I may be wanting to still look good in that investment and keep talking, talking uh, good about it, right? So typically, a VC firm for follow-on investments treats it the same way as the original investment, which is everybody else's view matters. People come and pitch again, and it's a fresh investment. Now imagine if you have not, this founder has not been, or the company has not been able to raise capital externally, probably that pitch for this VC firm, purely objectively, is going to have no different answer. So it's a very difficult situation. My advice is the following. I think, again, founders are supposed to be resourceful. They should look for every possible, ex essentially, you're trying to control your destiny. And the best way of controlling your destiny is be profitable. I have done this at Bazi. Profit is revenue minus cost. Reduce cost by 60%. Increase revenue twofold by starting new business lines. My, my first business line wasn't working, right? So I think that is my advice. I think it founders should also recognize that VCs are not being unreasonable. They bet on them. Their personal reputation has, has been bet on them. Their money has been spent. But there is a fiduciary responsibility of how to do these things. I will tell you that 80 to 90% of the time, they will get more money from a VC in a bridge the first time. But not the second, the third, or the fourth. Because then I would advise the founder, think of yourself as, are you doing the right thing? Forget whether I will put money or not. Do you want to keep putting your life into it? Something is clearly not working. So, But hardest situation to deal with.